In these videos, we are going to be talking about the Document Object Model, also known as the DOM, the D-O-M. You'll see that referred to a lot, particularly as you work with jQuery, which we'll get into a little bit later. The Document Object Model is the browser's internal programmatic representation of the web page. What that means is you can manipulate the Document Object Model and change the page without actually going in and changing any of the HTML. Now you have to use the right language like JavaScript or a library of JavaScript like jQuery to access and talk to the DOM, but it can be a really powerful tool both as a programmer and as a user of websites. Technically, the DOM is also an API. If you're not familiar with APIs, that's fine, but remember, this is a type of API. APIs are really powerful and can do a lot of things. If you've already been using JavaScript and particularly jQuery, you've already been working with the DOM. It's pretty intuitive once you get used to a language like jQuery. Let's talk about some examples of a document object model manipulation. These examples are pure JavaScript, just pure vanilla JavaScript. Document that get element by ID and then the ID is something that maybe you've seen before in some of the earlier challenges. Element get elements by tag name is another example and if you want to create something totally new, document.createElement, and then the name of that element. You don't have to remember this. This is not a lesson on how to manipulate the document object model, just that sort of how it's possible. You understand the concept, and if you already are using some of these examples, maybe you can connect those dots a little bit better. Let's talk about some jQuery examples. For this example in jQuery, there's the same jQuery notation with the dollar sign, and in here it's got the, the hashtag for the class. Um, so here it's selecting the box2 class and it's appending, adding the string. This is now in box2. So if you've already done the jQuery challenges, you might be like, oh yeah, I recognize that kind of stuff. What you've been doing is manipulating the document object model to actually change what's being displayed on a web page without changing the HTML. What I want you to take away from this video is that the document object model is technically an API that is inside of your browser. It is easy to use, so even if you can't wrap your head around the concept of the document object model necessarily, don't be intimidated by it and don't be afraid to start using languages like JavaScript and the library like jQuery to start changing the context of a page without changing the actual HTML. When you do that using these languages or other languages, you are manipulating the document object model.